Hi Owls, this is the first video in our Theme of Fluids Dynamics series. Today we are going to tackle the following fluids problem. We are given a pressurized tank full of water and we are told that the pressure in the tank is measured using a multi-fluid manometer. We must remember that a manometer is a technique used to measure pressure and it uses the surface area and the weight of the column of fluid to both measure and indicate pressure. We are required to measure the gauge pressure of the air in the tank. Remember, gauge pressure. So there are three fluids in the water tank system, i.e. oil, water, and mercury. Respectively, their densities are 13,600, 1,000, and 850 kilograms per meter cube. The heights of the columns are 0 0.2 meters for each one, 0 0.3 meters for each two, and 0 0.46 meters for H3. I am going to give you time to attempt the question. You can pause the video in 3, 2, 1. Hey! We are back. So let's solve the problem. First, we always start with the diagram. That is our rule number one. Remember, diagram, rule number one. When we draw a diagram, it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds or a minute at most. So let's start with the diagram. This is just a rough sketch illustrating everything or putting in every information that we need. So we start at the point labeled 1, which is inside the tank at the water-air interface. And we move along the cube by adding as we go down and subtracting as we go up. So P1 plus rho of the water times g times h1 and then we add again because we're going down so rho of the air of the oil times g times h2 to help you grasp the concept of adding as we go down think about a diver as you go down the water pressure increases Hence, we add, but as you move up or go up in the water, the pressure decreases, thus we, sub we subtract. So at this point, we are going to equate it to the pressure, the, at the atmospheric pressure, plus rho of the mercury times G times H. The pressure at this point is equal to the pressure at this point. That is why we, we equated the two. Remember, the pressure in the same height of a column is equal. Given that it is the same fluid, At this point, we solve for P1. So P1 is equal to P atmospheric plus rho of the mercury times H3 plus rho of the water times G times H1 plus rho of the oil times G times H2. This will give us the absolute pressure. But the question requires a gauge pressure. So we have to subtract P1 by the atmospheric pressure. 
So P1 gauge is equal to P1 minus P atmospheric. And then we equate this to rho of the mercury times G times H3 plus rho of the water times G times H1 plus rho of the oil times G times H2. We then substitute the values and get the un an answer of 56.9 kilopascal. That is the end of the question. Always be wiser every day. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.